Well, hello again, everybody. It's Stephen Rigdon, and I'm back with another game review for class. Uh, today's review, we're going to be covering the Sega title Shadow Dancer, which is a follow-up to the extremely popular uh, Sega arcade game Shinobi. Uh, this game was published by Sega and U.S. Gold, and it was developed by Sega and Overworks, and it was re released in 1989. Uh, although, uh, games in this series have been released as recently as 2011 with uh, Shinobi 3D for the 3DS. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the gameplay. So the premise of the game is you start off at, at an airport and you play as this ninja and apparently terrorists are trying to take over the airport and plant a bomb. So your goal is to infiltrate and uh, defuse all of the bombs in the airport. Um, you also notice that uh, you have a dog companion, which is kind of odd. But uh, at the time, it was the big... Uh, it was the big um, sales pitch for this game over its original predecessor. Um, and the way they implemented the mechanic, actually, I find really impressive. Uh, you actually sick the dog by crouching and then uh, just hitting your normal uh, attack button, which in my opinion was a really smart move by Sega because that way they didn't have to make any hardware changes. Uh, they could just all, they could do it all in the software, um, which in my, you know, that saves time and that saves a lot of money. Um, Another thing to note about this game are just like the fantastic graphics for the time. I mean, this game, uh, you know, in my last review, I came from playing a Smurfs title for the Atari 2600. And just to go from, uh, just to go from literally just a blue guy, uh, with no face or anything to having these really intricate and detailed uh, graphics in seven years is definitely something remarkable and I think I think it's definitely worth noting um, yeah this is definitely absolutely an impressive game for the time and let's see Let's take my dog. Ooh, a little kick there. Oh, whoa! Out of nowhere with that knife attack out of the window. <laughs> okay, I guess this game has some surprises after all. But yeah, uh, this game, like I said, it has many modern counterparts and. Uh, it's it's a traditional side scroller, and you can really compare it to just about any of them. I mean, I it'd be a stretch, but I could even say you could compare it to to Mario, you know, just because you're traveling. You know, it's a side scroller, you beating up enemies as you go along. So I I can definitely see some parallelism there, uh, but maybe more more like Ninja Gaiden, you know, uh, just from the beat up aspect, and then of course obviously the common ninja theme. Um, but, uh, overall, a very fun game. I can't say I have any real problems with it. Uh, it's a very it's a fun game. I enjoy it. I, I can play this all day. It's really fun. Um, but like I said, uh, what I like about it, obviously, the, the graphics, like I said earlier, are just fantastic. Uh, the controls are buttery smooth on it. I mean, there's no, there's no lag. There's no, um, you know, there's no issues there. Um, oh no, my dog died again. But, uh, I, I enjoy it very thoroughly. Oh, my dog didn't die. He just turned really small. Okay. Maybe, like, he'll get big again? Oh, uh, the guy thinks he's slick a second time, but not today. Not today. Let's see if I can finish out the level here. 
All right, go on to the next stage. Let's do it. Stage one clear. Awesome. Let's take a quick peek at stage one, two here. Ooh, out on the tarmac. Wow, that's even more impressive. They were able to incorporate several environments in here, and also they're adding more characters too. Awesome. This seems to be a very diverse game, which is awesome. Oh, that that was not so awesome. All right, well, on that epic failure, I think I'm going to go ahead and call it quits on this video. So thanks again for watching, uh, and I hope to see you in the next video. Talk to you later. Bye.